Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and have ourselves some fun. Let's go. Good morning and happy weekend, movie mom. Happy weekend to you. A nice short week. That's always fun, isn't it? Amen. Well, do you have pets? Yes, we do. You sure do. What do you think they do all day while you're talking on the radio? Sleep. Get into the garbage. Confirmed. Well, the secret life of pets is there to answer the question, what do the pets do all day? It is fun and bright and charming, but it's so much a ripoff of Toy Story that it got really annoying to me at the end. And it has a couple of moments that were surprisingly unpleasant for kids. So I think it's actually of more interest to grown-ups who wonder what their animals are up to all day. It's got great voice talent. I never would have picked Louis C.K. to be the hero of the story, but he's just great as Max, the dog we all wish we had. Affectionate, energetic, totally loving and wonderful and sweet. He's got a perfect life. Did I say this was a rip-off of Toy Story? His owner, Katie, brings home another dog. Oh, of course. Oh, no. Like Buzz and Wood. Max, this is Duke. <gasps> He's going to be your brother. Chloe, I got a bad situation. I'm your friend. And as your friend, I got to be honest with you. I don't care about you or your problems. Kevin Hart is hilarious in a role he was born to play, a fluffy white bunny. He's got some major anger issues. Jenny Slate is great as the dog who helps to save the day. The problem for me was when they kind of left home and got into crazy adventures, got involved with pets who had been rejected by their owners, were captured by the dog catchers. I didn't think the story was as interesting. So not as good as it could have been, but bright and clever and good voice talent. I would say maybe a B minus. And I would take anybody maybe seven or eight and up. I wouldn't take the little little kids to this one. Okay? Now, Mike and Dave need wedding dates. This is a movie that makes wedding crashers look like the secret life of pets in terms of age appropriateness. <laughs> it's extremely raunchy, filthy, and disgusting. And it's based on a true story. The Stagel brothers, who were such bros, they were so over the top in their broiness that their cousin asked them to bring nice girls as dates to her wedding so that they wouldn't just, you know, disrupt everything and create total mayhem. In this movie, it's their sister who asks them, and the wedding is in Hawaii. So, of course, they do what any guy looking for a nice girl to date would do. They advertise on Craigslist. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the joke is that they get dates who are even more raunchy and over-the-top crazy than they are, including Maine's own Anna Kendrick. I love her so much. So I love her. I love uh, Aubrey Plaza. And I love the guy, Zac Efron and Adam Devine. But the movie was just one. I can't believe they did that after another. And it got just exhausting after a while. Definitely, definitely for adults only. And then we got a horror movie called Lights Out. You're on your own on that one. <laughs> uh, DVD this week, two really nice ones for kind of tweenagers. We don't get enough movies for them. One is called Dear Eleanor. And it's about two girls in the 1950s who decide that they're going to run away from home to meet Eleanor Roosevelt and they have a lot of adventures along the way so I, I thought that was a really nice film and then a super nice one it's called Emma's Chant and it's about a girl after a prank to do some community service and ends up working at an equine rescue farm based on the real life equine rescue farm in California called the Red Bucket the girl is played by Greer Grammer the daughter of Kelsey Grammer who is just lovely in this film and I got to interview her she's a total sweetheart next week I'm holding my breath for Ghostbusters. I really, really hope it's good. I love everybody in it, but the fact that they're holding it to the last minute to show it to critics and that that song was so awful has got me a little nervous. Yeah. I'll tell you all about it next week. All right, Movie Mom, you can catch this interview up at WJBQ.com where we always have a link to MovieMom.com. Have a fabulous weekend, Movie Mom. We'll catch up with you next week. Bye-bye. Let's all go to the